Hello, my name is Ugin Sampatuji. My student ID is 20172969. Now I'll be talking about the cybersecurity threats, a never ending challenge for e commerce. The first of all, the qualitative research. Introductions The article sheds light on the growing concern of cybersecurity threats in the e commerce sectors as technology continues to shape the way we do business. The incent incent intensity of cyber threats has also been on the rise. The study aims to explore various cybersecurity concerns in e-commerce such as social engineering, denial of services, malware, and attacks on personal data. It also aims to provide managerial solutions to address and minimize these threats. Now I'll be talking about the research pedigree, philosophy, and reasoning approach. Research pedigree. The research pedigree used is the conservative pedigree. This pedigree emphasizes interpreting and understanding the complex social world with align the study focus on analyze multifaceted nature of cybersecurity threats in e-commerce. Now the philosophy. The philosophy that resonates with the pedigree is interpretivism which highlights the importance of understanding the subjective meanings and perspective of individuals and now the reasoning approach by examining the specific intents of cyber security threats and drawing borders conclusion about the implications the researchers employs an inductive reasoning approach now the research strategy here the research employer uh, Qualitative analysis approach to explore cybersecurity threats in e-commerce. This approach involves examining multiple data sources, including books, journal articles, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. And now I'll be talking about the critical assessment. Here, the scope of the study is limited to specific types of threats, such as social engineering, denial of services, attack on personal data. So, a border explorations of other emerging threats could provide a more comprehensive understanding of the cybersecurity landscape. And additionally, the subject could benefit from other approaches such as interviews or surveys to gather insights directly from e-commerce professionals and customers. So this would add a human touch to the city and provide real life experience and perspective on several security challenges. For the, the suggestions for improvement are expanding, expanding the discussion to include recommendations for organization to enhance the cyber security measures could add value to the studies and also practical stra strategies such as employee training, adopting advanced security with technologies and also establishing incident response plan could empower e-commerce business to mitigate the impacts of cyber threats. So the conclusion of this qualitative research is that these articles highlights the critical issues of cyber security threats in the e-commerce industry. By adopting a conservative pedigree, the researchers Delve into the multifactor natures of cyber threats and the implications of business and customers. While the studies offers valuable insights, incorporating a broader scope of threats and qualitative research methods could further enrich in contribution to addressing cyber security challenges in the e-commerce sectors. Now I'll be talking about the quantitative research that is the impact of digital marketing success on customer loyalty. First of all, introductions. The article focuses on exploring the relationships between digital content marketing, digital marketing, and customer loyalty. The study aims to fill the gap in literature regarding the factors influencing digital marketing success and its impact on the customer loyalty. Now I'll be talking about the key findings of this article. The articles emphasize the significance of digital marketing in stimulating customer behavior such as purchase decisions and customer loyalty. The study employs a structured approach beginning with a literature review to develop a hypothesis and a research conceptual model. 
So now I'll be <coughs> sorry talking about the summary of each subheadings. The first one is lit literature review and hypothesis development. The literature review review exemplifies the background of the customer loyalty, defining it as uh, both attitudinal and behavioral loyalty. So now the methodology and the research methods. The study methodology involves data collections from customers of fast food restaurant. So the sample size is determined through convenient sampling questionnaires and which are distributed to gather response on a five point like a scale. So the measurement models is evaluated for reliabilities of and validity. So the structural model is tested to examine the relation between construct. The third one is result and conclusion. The finding reveals that all hypotheses are supported. So the digital content marketing and digital marketing capabilities significance impact digital marketing success, which in turn influence customer loyalty. Now I'll be talking about the critical assessment of research design and method. First of all, the research paradigm. So this article seems to adopt a positive research paradigm focusing on empirical testing of hypotheses. They emphasize quantitative data collections and analysts aiming for objective conclusions. Now the research philosophy. However, this article lacks a discussion on the philosophical underpinning guiding the research approach. So a more explicit recognition of underlying statement could provide a clearer perspective on how knowledge is generated and interpreted. Now the reasoning approach. The study emphasizes a deductive reasoning approach moving from general hypothesis to specific observation. Now I'll be talking about the critical assessment of research design and methods. First of all, which is research strategy. The article utilizes a quantitative research strategy employing structured survey to gather data. Now data collections and sampling. So the study employs convenient sampling, which might introduce bias and limits the generalizabilities of findings. Using on more device and representative samples could enhance the external validity of the research. <coughs> Sorry. Now the strategical analysis the article employs exploratory factors analysis and confirmatory factor analysis to access reliabilities and validity so the conclusion in summary while the research design and methods in the article align with their quantitative natures and aim for empirical validation there are opportunities for there are opportunities for employment improvement so explicitly addressing the philosophical foundations and considering the alternative explanations incorporating mixed methods approach enhancing sampling strategies and discussing the implications of findings could strengthen <coughs> uh, could strengthen the result and relevance of this research uh, so like this is the ref reference and so last thank you thank you for your time